I was laying on the floor thinking, be careful in this healing community, this trauma filled community of people who are breaking generational curses and, you know, separating from narcissistic abuse and stuff like that because a lot of people in this realm are very traumatized, you know? And I'm not saying I'm no better than these people. I'm not saying that I haven't been traumatized myself, but there's a lot of people who don't want what's best for you. It's a lot of people who haven't been taught or haven't worked on themselves enough to um, not project onto you, even if they're not narcissists or they haven't worked on themselves enough to 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 have empathy towards other people that are of this community. Um, so yeah, just be careful. Um, because there's some people that aren't narcissists that are crazy, bro. That look at that girl that unalived her whole family and and uh, and herself and that guy that just came out making a video saying that he that she tried to unalive him at some point. And then all those people in the comments were saying they they would buy her courses and she was a very popular spiritual. Um, girl within the trauma filled community or whatever the case may be right so ask yourself this all those people that follow her they didn't know her true intentions and the fact that she could crash out in that way right me means that she was never right up here anybody that goes that far was never right up here so before you follow people and automatically hop on their bandwagon because they might be saying some dope stuff out their mouth. You truly have to use your discernment. You truly have to um, be careful because like I said, some of the most wicked people have the greatest facades. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I could go on and on about this. Y'all be safe.